Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I got to compete with a fan on the hybrid solar inverter because we got a nice sunny day today and the batteries need charged. So I got a couple of new toys for the shop. I hope it'll help make things a little easier. I got one of these multi-function testers. It'll test electronic components and uh, identify them, I guess. So I just got it, so I really haven't uh, played with it. So you'll probably see that in some of my videos. And that one I haven't opened up yet. And I don't know. I'm packing this. <laughs> and I got a nice puncher right here, so I don't know what we're gonna find in there. As far as condition. So what we got is a DC power supply. I screwed up and damaged my homemade one. And I'm going to try to repair it. But in the meantime, I thought I'd get an official one. I had the price knocked down pretty good on these, so... I don't know if it's any good or not. We'll find out. Certainly isn't very big. I'm surprised at the size. So it's a Hylect HY50-6. Supposed to be 50 volts, 6 amps. It's got uh, some memories, um, constant voltage, constant current, and this one has a switch so you can turn the, the leads on and off, more or less. Got a USB, voltage control, current control, and I think when you push these it turns into a fine control. On the back we got the power switch, the fan. And of course, power cord connection. And this one is uh, 104 to 127. It's not one that goes 120 to 40. So, I don't hear any loose components. So, let's plug it in and see if she lights up. Ooh, it's purdy. Okay, so... Looks like that's maxing out at 5 amps. Thought it was supposed to be a 6 amp. Oh, we're turning it. No, oh, that's right now. Okay, so. Apparently it blinks while you're making the adjustment. It's on constant voltage. Let's turn it down to. I don't know, one amp. Let me get the leads undone and then get my uh, <coughs> 12 volt light bulb out. Hey, the leads don't seem too bad. 
I mean, it's pretty chilly in here and they're still fairly flexible. Seem like they got pretty good support. They fit in nice and snug. Let's see what the other end's like. Yeah. Not too bad. They're soldered on. <laughs> Come on, get on there. Shouldn't have popped it off of there, should I? There we go. <laughs> get my light bulb. I think this thing choose a fluke meter to hold it up. <laughs> there. I think this light bulb uses uh, a couple amps at 12 volts. I got it set for one. What am I doing wrong? Is my light bulb no good no more? Oh, it wasn't in the socket. Alright. So it's on constant current. So it uses two. 0.056 amps. It's nice you can turn it down on the fly. So if I limit it to 1 amp, we're at 3 volts. Alright. So I'm going to have to look at the manual, see how to set up the rest of it, so just a quick overview and see if it works. Okay, you've been playing with it, and you can, if you push this in, you can fine tune it. So I'm going to set it for 13.6. Well, I got a bigger car headlight thing here, so let's turn it on. I did get it up to uh, 6 amps limit. So, go find something that uses a little more juice. Not this thing would use more than that. I got a little 12 volt heating element here that I use for running down stuff or load testing. I think it uses around 8 or 10 amps at 12 volts, so got it set for maximum output. Okay, does the 6 amps. We can only, only go at 5 volts, so. So it will do the 6 amps. Yep. Okay. So, okay, this other new tester is rechargeable using the USB. So let's try the USB section.
Yeah, got a red light on the bottom. Assuming that means charging. This thing doesn't come with any instructions at all. So that doesn't show up here at all. So the USB part of it does work. Get that out of there. So probably what I ought to do is see if my fluke meter if the uh, voltage reading is accurate. Test it at the end of the at the end of the leads. So this is set at 13.6. Oh, turn it on. The 13.58. Close enough for this shop. So it's off 20 millivolts. Not bad. Let's see how she does. No, I don't know. There's the 50 volts, 49.9. 40 says 39.9. Nineteen point nine eight. We go to zero. This will eventually get there. Turn the output off. See if that makes difference. Let me show you. No, the fluke doesn't want to go to zero. It's picking up some stray voltage apparently. Okay. Well, just a quick look at a few new new things you might see in the shop being used. So. If you enjoyed or give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Now I'm sure I disappointed some of you with that video. We didn't look inside, so we're gonna know. Nice metal case on it. Well, here's what we got. Well, I got some pretty good heat sinks. Pretty thick. This one's pretty good size, too. Got going there. I don't know how well you can see the 
control board up here. So, just a quick general look. So you can't tell a lot by looking. Time will tell though, but I don't see anything that stands out as not good. Okay, looks like we got a thermal switch right there on this heat sink. So this is the one that triggers the fan. So of course this is the one that's handling the power I'm sure. And this one up here. Not sure what that is. If that's a it says Q10 on the board, so it doesn't tell us much. So that's a quick bake at the inside. Get her back together. Thanks for watching.